Hi, my name is Jeff Fassbinder with Align, and today we're looking at the APS system. Is we're gonna go and go to the uh, grass over here, right behind me, and we're gonna do the actual programming, or should I say, calibration of the GPS sensor. So we'll go out there and we'll go through the process of setting that up and show you how you have to how you actually calibrate it. And in addition to that, we're gonna do the vibration test. The vibration test is an important test that must be passed and we'll go through the light sequence and how that lights up. You lift off, you basically fly for about 30 seconds, you land your helicopter. If your LEDs on the uh, Lincoln GPS lights on your APS unit are still flashing green when you land, Hi, it's a good thing. You press set, line. enter it, and today you're good to go. here at the field doing the T-Rex 550E with the new APS flight stabilization system. Right now what I'm gonna do is do the actual calibration process for both the horizontal and vertical axis of the GPS sensor. So let's go ahead and get started here. We've already tested and made sure everything else is working properly. We've done our fail safe, we've done our throttle curves, and we've also set our gyro sensitivity. Those are the three important things we talked about in the first segment. So as long as you have those set, the setup should be rather simple. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna power up my radio. Again, I'm using the uh, Futaba TAJ and I'm using it on the uh, T-Rex 550E here. I need to pop out for now. Give the helicopter some power. We're in uh, normal flight mode. Uh, we are in 3GX mode, meaning that three position switch is all the way up. Now we're gonna hold the set button on the APS unit, not the 3GX. The light, the status light on the uh, 3GX is flashing, it's green right now. So I'm gonna hold that set button on the APS unit for three seconds. When I do that, the link button turns red. I'm gonna rotate around that blue dot below me here for my horizontal axis. And then I look down, I got two red lights. Both the GPS and the link lights are, are uh, red. And when I rotate around the axis here, I have two green lights. Both, again, the GPS and the link lights are both solid green right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect the power from the helicopter. I use this blue dot as my center point to calibrate on the GPS. When you, when you are calibrating, you wanna make sure you use the GPS and your position as a center point. Don't use the main shaft, use the GPS as your center point. So when you're rotating around, what I'm trying to do is stay on that point as best as I can. Yeah, just hold that position, both for horizontal axis and on the vertical axis. So when we're standing upright, we want to do that. We want to calibrate it and do that. Okay, you don't have to do this every time you go out flying, but you do need to do it if you change geographic locations, different flying sites. It's a good thing to be familiar with this process. But all you have to do again is plug in the power, hold the set button for three seconds, and then what happens is the link light will turn red. And when it turns red, it's ready for you to do your horizontal 360 and then once it goes the two red lights light up again you're going to do the vertical and then you'll get two green led lights calibration is set so in the next part or next process we're going to do is what's called the vibration test and you want to test your helicopter whether it's electric nitro gas whatever it is you need to make sure it passes this test so what i'm going to do again i'm going to power up i'm going to power up my helicopter. And let's go ahead and put the canopy out here. And what we're gonna do is not for three seconds, just for about a second, you're gonna hold the set button on the APS unit itself. Hold that for about a second. The both link and GPS lights and then when you let go, and they'll be flashing green. That's what we want it to have when we finish flying for 30 seconds. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the helicopter up. We're going to fly it, or hover it, I should say. And once we uh, fly for 30 seconds, if we land and we have the lights flashing green, we know that we've passed the vibration test. Once we do that, before we shut off the power or anything, we need to press set button again. 
to let the APS unit know that it's passed the vibration test and it can continue to uh, do the other commands that you're going to want to do as far as setting up your waypoints and things like that. But it needs to pass that test prior to using in flight. If you're not passing, uh, it's not going to function correctly, so you're going to want to make sure that it does pass this vibration test. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and fly this helicopter here. Okay. All right, so we're going to get started. We just want to put it in a hover for 30 seconds and then land. Again, I'm using a linear throttle curve for normal right now, just for our initial hover. And then once you press the button, it takes that, link will be flashing green, you're good to go. It's ready for flight at this point. But before we go to flight, we're going to check out our settings on the bench and make sure that our GPS uh, functions, both setting waypoint for home, for setting points A and B, and not only that, but setting the uh, flight path between A and B, make sure that those uh, four processes are working correctly. And once we do that, we're ready to fly. So. I hope this has helped you kind of get an idea of what's required as far as to set it up. But uh, I think it's very easy once you get your radio set up correctly and just go through the, the general process here of the vibration test and the calibration test for the GPS sensor. Uh, so let's go back to the bench. We'll take a look at those things. Uh, and if you have any questions about any of the things we discussed, please again give me uh, an email. It's uh, jeff at alignrcusa.com or contact us through our uh, parent website which is www.align.com.tw. Thanks for watching. My name is Jeff Fassbinder.